Slowly but surely, Toyota is starting to show its hand for electrification. Over at the Toyota press room, Toyota charges into electrified future in the United States with a 10-year, $3.4 billion investment. And before we dive into this really juicy article, if you're new to the channel, my name's Kirk. I talk about Japanese and Korean autos all the time reviews news updates so if you're into that make sure to subscribe and if you're excited for this new uh announcement from toyota smash a like button and let's get into all this juicy details from toyota today this investment will bring a new american plant new production new jobs with a focus on carbon neutrality and that's the whole point of electrification is to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions being let off into the atmosphere and to fight global warming. I mean, it's the noble thing to do. And it can also make companies a lot of money if they play their cards right. So here we are, Toyota announced today that will invest $3.4 billion in automotive batteries in the United States through 2030. Specifically, this investment is for developing and localizing automotive battery production, including those for battery electric vehicles. So there you have it. Toyota eventually, by 2030, sometime between now and 2030, probably close to 2030, will be producing batteries for battery electric vehicles. All of their plug-in hybrids like the Prius Prime, the RAV4 Prime, and at least for a while, all of them come from Japan. There's no other production for these large battery packs. Uh, and a part of that is their joint venture with Panasonic. They're, they're really making great batteries with Panasonic, but we still haven't really seen them in a lot of vehicles other, other than the RAV4 Prime. And they've, they've also had uh, agreements with Panasonic with Prime Energy Vehicle, PEV, P-E-V-E. Anyways, they've had workings with Panasonic for, for decades now with uh, all of their hybrid batteries. But in terms of taking that next step forward for more electrification, we need to have more plug-in hybrid batteries as well as fully battery electric batteries. And it wouldn't make sense if all that production was done in Japan. And I was thinking, well, the Tundra, we would love to have a Tundra Prime, right? A plug-in hybrid pickup truck, or better yet, for some people, uh, a fully battery electric pickup truck. There's just no way that could be produced in Japan. They ship it over here and then put it in the, the pickup trucks. Instead, Toyota will be building these in the United States for future plug-in hybrids and battery electric vehicles and normal hybrids as well. Don't forget the, the impact and the importance of reducing greenhouse emissions uh, and carbon emissions by using traditional hybrids. So this $3.4 billion investment is just a small part of the $13.5 billion set aside for investing in batteries and the production announced last month by Toyota. So in order to build these new batteries in America, Toyota has established a new company and it will build an automotive plant together with Toyota Tsusho in the United States aiming to start production in 2025. And what's crazy, it's like, Pretty much all of their battery production are joint ventures. So I don't know if it maybe it helps reduce costs, but you got to remember Toyota Susho is a subsidiary of Toyota in itself. They're owned by Toyota Group, a huge supplier for Toyota globally for their production of materials for their vehicles. But they also span industrial, commercial, and consumer sectors. And one of those areas is including industrial raw materials. Of course, that's gonna include lithium, nickel, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and whatever future battery technologies and materials they need for that. And their businesses are divided into seven different sectors. Metals, which I just mentioned, global parts and logistics, automotive, which really works on the exporting of their vehicles, machinery, energy, and project, chemicals and electronics, food and consumer services, and then Africa. I'm not gonna to go too far into any of those, but just like so many other Japanese companies, they have their hands in many, many different specialties. Toyota Susho is there to help build batteries with Toyota North America for the vehicles here in North America. Who knows, they might start exporting them to South America too. The project includes an investment of approximately $1.3 billion until 2031, which includes funds that will be used to develop land and build facilities, resulting in the creation of 1,750 new American jobs. Awesome. 
Next paragraph is Tadagawa talking about sustainability and reducing emissions, but more into the specifics of this new company, which we don't know what it's called yet, but part of the new company's activities will include helping Toyota to further develop and expand its local supply chain and production knowledge related to lithium automotive batteries. The venture will first focus on producing batteries for hybrid electric vehicles. And that makes sense because they're not going to open up this new company and they're not gonna immediately have the battery production for battery electric vehicles. That's gonna take a while for them to shore up their supply of materials in order to do that and even have the assembly line capacity for that. So they're first gonna start with the smaller battery packs so they can have cheaper hybrids here in America and a lot more of them. Uh, the Tundra obviously is the newest hybrid from Toyota. We're gonna to see uh, even Mazda using Toyota technology coming out of the Alabama plant and the new Corolla Cross will have a hybrid uh, using these batteries eventually as well. But like I said, also plug-in hybrids are gonna be a huge part of their strategy going forward. Forward, and they have no way of producing plug-in hybrids outside of Japan, at least right now. But that will all change by 2030 when all this is up and running at capacity where they're producing battery electric vehicles here stateside. So if they're producing batteries for battery electric vehicles, that means new manufacturing lines and possibly new plants have to open up as well in order for these battery packs to slot into. Um, or they could just be focusing on putting these batteries uh, these battery electric vehicle batteries, the large battery packs into their TNGAF platform vehicles like the Tundra, like the upcoming Tacoma. It's hard to say, but I think it would make the most sense for them to open up a new assembly line to produce the new ETNGA platform like vehicles that is going to be shared between Subaru, which by the way, you gotta keep in mind, Subaru's largest market, as far as I know, is America. So they need to have an ETNGA production facility here in America to share with Toyota as well. Further details of the project, including details on a site, production capacity, business structure, etc., will be shared at a future time. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We don't know how long it's going to be until we get more information about this. Toyota is holding an event later this year to talk about their strategy when it comes to electric vehicles. I'm sure this will be a talk about it. Definitely stay tuned because I'll bring you more coverage on that event. I will be going to it, but I can't share more details about it at this time mainly because I don't know them. All right, Toyota has a quick hitter for their electrification uh, efforts so far. Toyota sold more than 18.7 million electric vehicles, including 4.5 million in the United States. Electric to Toyota includes anything from hybrid electric to plug-in to uh, battery electric to fuel cell. Yeah, I think that's all of them. And then while electric vehicles already account for nearly 25% of Toyota's sales volume here in the United States, that number is expected to rise to nearly 70% by 2030. And in order to feed that massive supply of battery or electrified vehicles, I should say, they have to have a plant here. And that's what this is for is to build those batteries here domestically. And to meet the growing demand, Toyota continues to steadily expand its lineup of electrified vehicles, including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, fuel cells, and battery electric vehicles from 55 models today to about 70 models by 25. Now, interestingly, of the 70 models, 15 will be battery electric vehicles. Uh, including seven Toyota BZ models. So we only have one BZ model right now, that's the BZ4X. Well, it's not out, but you have to think, this must be globally, 70 models by 2025. Surely we don't have anywhere close to 70 electrified models here in the United States. If I go over to uh, their, their third quarter sales, it's gonna list all of them in this graph right here, and we're gonna count them, or actually I'll just fast forward it. So 18 vehicles are already out on the market, but two of them have been canceled essentially in the near future, which is the GS Hybrid, which has been dead for a while now. What was it, since 2018 or 2019 or something? As well as the Avalon Hybrid, which is, is uh, rest in peace. Avalon is the next, the last year is a 2022 model year of the Avalon. Yeah, it will be interesting to see how many of those 70 electrified models will even be sold here. But they're saying 15 of those 70 models will be battery electric vehicles. Vehicles, and seven are the BZ. I expect most of those BZ models to be offered here. The, the remaining eight models are probably not gonna be sold here in the United States unless they're going to be like a fully electric Tundra or a fully electric Tacoma, fully electric Sequoia, fully electric LX. Those are all possibilities and those won't have the BZ nomenclature. And we also have 
the first Lexus electrified concept or at least be announced by middle 2022. So we should have one or two as Lexus vehicles and we should have a few more for the pickup trucks or body on frame vehicles for Toyota. That just makes sense to me. And the Prius hasn't had a whole lot of love since they've given it a prime variant. And lastly, Toyota expects to sell 2 million zero emission vehicles, which include battery electric and fuel cells globally and in the United States, the company expects to sell between one and a half to 1.8 million electrified vehicles, including zero emissions vehicles. So there you have it. Toyota is slowly but surely unveiling their master plan for electrification. They are very different than how pretty much every other company is doing it, especially outside of Japan. If you look at the Koreans, they just lay it all out. They really show their hand to everyone and they just get working on it and they produce products. They already have their EGMP platform out in many parts of the world. Ford and General Motors have pretty much showed their hands. Tesla always shows their hand, but they don't always come out with their hand on a timely manner where Toyota is complete, like the complete opposite. With their announcements or lack thereof, they under promise and over deliver uh, when it comes to pretty much all of their products. But I'm going to end it there. What do you think of Toyota's new manufacturing plant of batteries here in North America? They'll be producing hybrid batteries, plug-in hybrid batteries, fully battery electric vehicle batteries. Uh, they got a lot of work to do, but they probably are 10 steps ahead of what this pre press release is saying. So I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed it, have a smash the like button. Go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, take care of yourselves. Peace out.